Good morning, class! Before we begin, let us all stand as we ask for the grace of our Lord God. Okay, children, do you still remember our song for the opening prayer? Good job! Then what is the title of the song? Does anyone from the class? Yes, Lila! Okay, it's Jesus Loves Me. Now, I want everybody to sing Jesus Loves Me together with our speaker. Are you ready? Okay, so I will be now playing our prayer song. Okay, so let us all bow our heads, close our eyes, and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amazing children! Always remember that Jesus loves us. As the Bible says in John 13 verse 34, we must love one another in the same way He loved us. This is how everyone will recognize that we are His disciplines when they see the love we have for each other. Okay, once again, good morning, class. Wow, I can see a lot of happy faces today. And everybody's clean and well-groomed. Also, your chairs are arranged properly. And the classroom is so organized. Good job. Okay, so how's your day? All right, very good to hear that your day is turning out well. Now, Please, everybody, remain to stand because we are going to sing our song every morning. Is that okay? All right. Okay, so I will be now playing the hello song and all of us should sing and dance. Okay, all of us must sing and dance. How are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teachers. How are you today? I am gonna listen to what you say. Hello to my friends. How are you today? I am gonna share my toys with you today. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. Shake your head now. Lift your arms up. Put your arms down. 
Put your arms up and shake it all around again. Up. Put your arms down. Put your arms up and shake it all around. Bend to the left. Bend to the right. Bend to the left. Bend to the right. Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's time to move your body and learn and play. Hello to my teachers. How are you today? I am gonna listen to what you say. Hello to my friends. How are you today? I am gonna share my toys with you today. I hope everybody will have a good day. Excellent children, now say hello to your classmates. Then ask them if they have a great and amazing morning like you. So is everybody okay children? Alright, I am glad to know that. Then we must do the good job clap. At the count of three, let us do it together, okay? One, two, three, go! G O O D G O B G O O D G O B Good job Good job G O O D G O B G O O D G O B Good job Good job Good job Now before we proceed to our discussion let me first check your attendance Class as we used to do every morning upon calling your names everyone used to say present but today, let us make it creatively. Now, once I call your name, you must imitate a sound that you usually heard in your surroundings. Whether it be a sound of an animal, an object, from nature, or human. Is that clear? Alright, so let's start with... Miss Aquino, okay, Mr. Fernandez, okay, Miss Guerrero, okay, Miss Lagunero, okay, Mr. Mariano, okay, Miss Paig, okay, and lastly, Miss Rufo. Okay, there we have it. So let me check. Oh, it seems a lot of you imitated the sounds of animals and objects. And only a few of you imitated the sounds coming from nature and humans. And based on this activity, I am so glad because I observed that all of you are present today. Therefore, let us do the good job club again. So at the count of three, let us do it together, okay? One, two, three, go! G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B, good job, good job! G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B, good job, good job, good job! Now, before we continue, let us recall our guidelines when we have our lessons. Number one, raise your hand if you want to say something for you to be recognized. Number two, be quiet. Do not talk to your seatmates while I am discussing. And you should remain in your respective seats. And lastly, be prepared. Do participate in our activities and do not forget to enjoy our class. Do you understand? Okay, that's nice. So class, it's science time again. Do you still remember our science song? Okay, good job. Are you ready to sing? Okay, so at the count of three, let us all sing. One, two, three, ready, six. It's science time again, it's science time again. Oh, come and join the class, it's science time again. Once again, 
It's science time again. It's science time again. Oh, come and join the class. It's science time again. One more time. It's science time again. It's science time again. Oh, come and join the class. It's science time again. Okay, very good. So, let's start then. It is a good day to brain up. So, children, do you still remember our lesson yesterday? Alright, yesterday we already discussed. Does anyone from the class? Yes, Erica. Good job. Yesterday we talked about the safety of using heat. Now, kindly give me the following practices for us to be safe in handling hot objects. Anyone? Yes, Lila. Good job. We must use gloves to handle hot food. What else? Yes, Trixie. Good job. We must turn off the flame of the gas after use. And lastly, yes, Ivy. Good job. We must use an umbrella whenever walking under the sun. Now, did I give you an assignment? Okay, so exchange your assignment notebook with your seatmate. And let us check your work. So, who wants to go here in front and answer the following items? Okay, so just raise your hand if you want to answer. So, all you need to do is to put a check if a picture shows good practice in using heat. And X for not. Is that clear? Okay. So, let us call on Erica for number one. Number two, Emmanuel. Number three, Paul. Number four, Dave. And number five, yes, Jeda. Okay, so let me check the answers of your classmates. Alright, all of their answers are correct. And I believe that there is nothing to explain further because I know that you already knew the good practices in using heat or the proper ways of handling hot objects. So now... Count the number of the correct answers and put the total score in the upper right corner of the paper. And return the assignment notebooks to the owner. Okay, so who got a perfect score? Raise your hand. Alright, everybody got the correct answers. And I am so happy about that. It only means that... You really understood the lesson yesterday. And by that, let us do the good job clap again. At the count of three, let us do it together, okay? Alright. One, two, three, go. G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B. Good job, good job. G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B. Good job, good job, good job. Now, as our motivation, I will be presenting a short video clip about the sounds around us. And I want you to listen attentively and pay attention to it because I will ask you questions after a while. Is that clear? Great! So, I will be now playing the video. Sounds around us. Do you hear those sounds? <coughs> we are surrounded with sounds everywhere. We hear different sounds around us. Okay, so there we have it. So, I will start asking you 
questions. Now, what is the video all about? Does anyone from the class? Yes, Trixie. Good job. It was all about the sounds around us. Okay. Kindly enumerate the sounds you heard and kindly identify where it comes from. Give me one. Does anyone from the class? Yes, Ivy. Good job. Moo. Moo. And that sound belongs to a cow. What else? Yes, Erica. Good job. Broom, broom. And that sound belongs to a car. Another. Yes, Lila. Good job. Toot, toot. And that sound belongs to a trumpet. Next. How about Emmanuel? Good job. Meow, meow. And that sound belongs to a cat. Oh, Paul, you're raising your hand. Yes, Paul. Good job. Woof, woof. And that sound belongs to a dog. Is there anything else? Yes, Dave. Good job. Tweet, tweet, which belongs to a bird. And there we have all the sounds present in the short video clip that we watched a while ago. So as is stated in it, we are surrounded by sounds everywhere. We hear different sounds around us, in our home, in the environment, and here in our school. Now, what did you observe from our activity? What do you think? about our lesson for today. Anyone? Yes, Gia. Aha. Uh -huh. Different sounds around us. You are almost there, but try to observe well. As we did a while ago, I asked you about the sounds from the video that you watch. And I also asked you to identify where that particular sound came from. So now, what do you think would be our lesson today? Anyone? Yes, Angelica. Very good. Our today's lesson is all about the sources of sounds. We will be identifying the sources of sounds. Also, we will appreciate the significance of various sounds in real life scenarios and lastly you will learn to classify sounds you heard in your daily lives so are you ready to learn class good job so shall we start all right that's good okay so once again our topic for today is all about the sources of sounds But before anything else, let us first define what is a sound. So, does anyone from the class? Yes, Lila. Okay, good job. So, when we say sound, these are the vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and are sensed by the ear. In short, a sound is a thing that can be heard. Okay? Alright. So once again, a sound. So when we say sound, these are the vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and are sensed by the ear. In short, a sound is a thing that can be heard. Understood? All right, good job. Now, before we go deeper into our discussion, let us have first a collaborative activity.
So, as far as I remember, I already gave your groupings yesterday. I divided the class into five groups which contain eight members each, right? That's great! So, all you need to do is to work as a group quietly and observe and listen to your surroundings. Then, on a white cartolina which I asked you to bring today, it is where you will write the sounds that you will hear and it is where you will draw where that particular sound came from. So, refer to the chart example here in front. So, for example, you hear a sound of tweet, tweet, tweet. Therefore, you will write the sound you heard. Okay? And for the second column, you need to draw where that particular sound came from. Therefore, tweet, tweet, tweet is a sound of a bird. Thus, you will draw an image of a bird. Do you understand, class? Do you follow? Is everything clear? Alright, that's nice. So, I will only give you 10 minutes to accomplish the task. Then, once you are done, you will do an oral presentation. And all members of the group will line up and each will discuss the output. Okay? Is that clear? Alright, but before that, kindly recall our standards in performing group activities. Does anyone from the class? Yes, Trixie. Good job. So we have an acronym of groups for the standards in performing a collaborative activity. We have G stands for Get Along. R stands for Respect Others. O stands for On Task. U stands for use the allotted time wisely and P for participate. Okay? Alright, so you may now start working as a team. Okay, class, it's already time. I hope you are all finished. Am I right? Very good. So let us now begin with the group presentation. Okay, let's call on group one. Okay, good job, group one. How about group two? Okay, good job, group two. How about group three? Okay, good job, group three. How about group four? Okay, good job, group four. How about group five? Alright, good job, group 5. Very good, class. All your outputs are correct. And I really appreciate your work because you were able to observe the different sounds around us and you also explained where that sound came from. I also love your drawings. It was so nice and beautiful. So, as we continue our discussion, we will find out the different sources of sounds around us. Okay? Are you ready? Alright, so let us now begin. So, sounds come from various sources. The sounds are classified into four. Now, what do you think is the first source of sounds? Does anybody from the class? Yes, Ivy. Good job! Sounds come from the animals. So now, kindly name animals together with their sounds. Anyone? Yes, Erica. Good job! A pig and it sounds oink oink. All right. So what else? Yes, Trixie. Good job. A goat and it sounds meh 
May and lastly, yes, Emmanuel. Good job, a rooster, and it sounds titilaok, titilaok. So those sounds are the following examples of sounds that produced by animals. Is that clear? All right, good job. Now, let us move on to the second source of sounds. So, does anyone from the class who has an idea? Yes, Lila. Good job. So, the second source of sounds are the sounds come from different objects. Okay? Once again, the second source of sounds are the sounds come from different objects. So now, kindly name objects together with their sounds. Anyone? Yes, Madeline. Good job. It luck and it sounds tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. All right. What else? Yes, Missy. Good job. A jeepney. And it sounds beep, 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 beep. Okay. And lastly, how about Russell? Good job. A doorbell. And it sounds Ding dong, ding dong. So those are the following examples of sounds that produced by different objects. Is that clear? Okay. So do you follow class? All right. Good job. So next is the third source of sounds. So what do you think would be the next? Does anyone from the class? Yes, Rizel. Good job. So, the third source of sounds are the sounds produced by the nature or the environment. Okay. So, once again, the third source of sounds are the sounds produced by the nature or the environment so now can we give examples of happenings in our environment that you think can produce a sound anyone yes katrin good job array and i believe that all of us already heard a sound whenever there is rain Am I right? Okay, that's nice. So what else? Yes, Jerlyn. Good job. A thunder. And I believe that you are familiar with the sound of thunder that sometimes we get afraid of to its sound because of its loudness. And you already familiar with it. Am I right? Alright. So... For the last one, how about Jessica? Okay, good job. A volcanic eruption. And I also believe that you already encountered how a volcanic eruption happens and hear its sounds. Am I right? Okay, very good. So those are the examples of sounds that comes from the nature or the environment. Is that clear? All right, so do you follow class? Okay, that's great. All right, moving on. How about the last source of sounds? What do you think it is? Anyone? Yes, Nathaniel. Good job. Sounds that come from us. Okay, so those are sounds that come from people. Because 
we humans can definitely produce different sounds. We can talk in different voices. Again, so the last source of sounds are the sounds that comes from us. Okay? People can also produce sounds. We can imitate or we can create different voices. Okay? All right. So now, kindly create a sound using your mouth. Anyone? Yes, Melvin. Good job. You whistle. How about Loida? Good job. You have a beautiful voice, Loida. All right. And lastly, yes, Fairly. Good job. You are so great at humming. It was so relaxing in the ears. So those are the sounds or those are the example of sounds created by humans. Okay? Alright. So do you understand the four sources of sounds? Alright. So class, do you have any questions? None? Are you sure? Okay, so is everything clear? Alright, so did you understand the lesson? Okay, that's great. Now, for me to know if you really understood the lesson, let's have a quick practice. Okay, so let's have again another activity. All right. So I will be presenting pictures and all you need to do is to produce their sound. And of course, I will be calling someone to imitate the sound what is in the picture. Then I will call again somebody to go here in front to classify the picture by pasting it to the form or to the chart to which it belongs. Just raise your hand if you know the answer. Okay, so do you follow? Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the first picture is this one. So does anyone from the class who wants to imitate the sound of this picture? Yes, Paul. Okay, good job, Paul. Okay, so now, who wants to classify this picture to the sources of sounds? Anyone? Yes, Lila. Okay, so come here in front, Lila. Okay, next picture is this one. Okay, so who wants to imitate the sound of this one, this picture, this illustration? Okay, so study the picture well, okay? And then imitate the sound of the illustration or the picture. Okay, does anyone from the class? Yes, Melvin. Okay, good job, Melvin. It is a sound of a wind. Okay, and it sounds like. Alright. So now, who wants to classify this picture among the sources of sounds? Okay, anyone? Yes, Marvelin. Okay, Marvelin, go here in front and classify this picture. All right, so next picture, this one. So who wants to imitate or produce the sound of this picture? Anyone? Yes? Roselle? Okay, good job. So this is a crying baby. 
All right, so now who wants to classify this picture among the sources of sound? Okay, does anyone from the class? Okay, yes, Gia. All right, so Gia, come here in front and classify this picture among the sources of sound. Okay. All right. Okay, so let us proceed for the last picture. Okay, so this one. Okay, so who wants to imitate the sound of this picture? Yes, Freddy? All right, good job. So this is a telephone and it sounds cring, cring. All right, so now who wants to classify this picture among these four sources of sound? All right, so anyone? Yes, Aaron. Okay, so come here in front and classify this picture. All right, so there we have it. So now, let me check the work of your classmate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, class, good job. All your answers are correct. It seems that you really listened to our discussion. And I am so feeling great about that. Therefore, we must do a good job club again. At the count of three, let us do it together, okay? All right. So, one, two, three, go. G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B. Good job. Good job. G-O-O-D, G-O-B, G-O-O-D, G-O-B. Good job. Good job. Good job. Now, to sign it up, what is the sound again without looking at the board? Does anyone from the class? Yes, Erica. Good job. When we say a sound, these are the vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and are sensed by the ear. In short, sound is a thing that can be heard and it comes from various sources. Thus, sounds are classified into four sources. Now, kindly recall the four sources of sounds without looking at the board. Does anyone from the class? Yes, Missy. All right, good job. The four sources of sounds are the animals, objects, human, and of course, from nature. Is that clear? All right. Now, what do you think are the significance of sounds in your real life scenarios? Does anybody from the class? Yes, Emmanuel. Good job. How about Ivy? Okay, good job. Lastly, yes, Lila. All right, good job. Okay, class, all you have mentioned are correct. Sounds are very essential to our lives. It helps us to communicate with others. Okay? So by sound, we can understand the context of the words spoken. Aside from that, sound can help people to protect themselves from danger such as the sounds or horn of the train and other vehicles because it warns people to give way. Also, the sound is a medium of entertainment. Without sound, we would not be able to listen to music or watch movies. Okay? Furthermore, sound plays an important role in providing treatment to patients. For instance, Doctors use stethoscopes to hear the heartbeat of the patient. Therefore, we must be familiar with the different sounds because, indeed, it helps us to be guided and it allows us to know better what is happening around us. Is that clear? Alright, good job! So now, 
Do you have any questions, class? Alright. Therefore, I would like to commend everybody because you were able to answer all the questions that I asked you. Okay? I hope you've learned a lot and that concludes our discussion. Now, class, let's have your quiz. Alright, so it's your quiz time. Okay, so now, bring out a one whole sheet of paper because we will be going to have a guessing game. Okay, so this would be probably your quiz number four. This guessing game is a sounds edition, okay? So, this would be an individual game because it will serve as your quiz, okay? So, listen for the mechanics of the game, okay? So, as you bring out a paper, it is where you can, you will write your answer, of course. And after that, I will play different sounds and all you need to do is to guess the sounds and identify which that sound belongs to. And after that, classify that sound among the four sources of sounds, whether it be a sound came from an animal, object, nature, or human. Is that clear? Alright, so your answers must be written in the paper, okay? Alright, so this would be a 10 items quiz. Okay, I prepared 10 sounds. So, let's start. Okay, class, it's already done. Those are the 10 sounds that I prepared. So, I hope that you will get a perfect score on this quiz. Okay, so now, can we pass all the papers in front at the count of 10? All the papers must be in front. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. All the papers must be here in front. Okay. Okay, so now class, for your assignment, I want you to bring out your assignment notebook and copy these following directions. Okay, so this would be probably your assignment number four. So your assignment contains two parts, okay? So for the first part, you have to listen to your surroundings at home and list at least five of the things that you may hear and you must classify each Thing, whether it be a sound created by animals, humans, nature, and objects. And for the second part of your assignment, you have to bring at least one instrument and or object tomorrow that creates sound because tomorrow's lesson will be all about ways of producing sounds. Is that clear? Do you follow class? Alright, so you have to remember your assignment. You should not miss this one. Okay? Alright, good job! Okay, class. So before I end this meeting, I would like to acknowledge the students who participated well throughout the discussion. So allow me to present to you the active students of the day. So starting with... Congratulations, Miss Olaina Joy E. Lagunero. Next, congratulations, Mr. Emmanuel Dominic B. Mariano. Also, congratulations, Miss Catrix C. A. Guerrero. And, congratulations, Miss Ivy Joy F. Penny. And lastly, 
Congratulations also to Miss Erika C. Rufo. And for those students who are not included as an active students of the day, do not worry children because you still have many days to be included on the list of the active students of the day. Okay, so I think this will be the end of our discussion class. So, thank you for today. I hope you've learned a lot from me. Goodbye. God bless. It's my name. And always remember to put a happy ending on your daily life. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.